this from the Clary Take One. Good. FIFA was a worldwide sponsor of FIFA and the FIFA World Cup. It was our first World Cup as a sponsor this year in South Africa. Uh, and so we tried to engage fans at all different levels. The availability of social media as an advertising platform made that possible for us in a way that never could have been before. So for example, on Facebook, people could upload videos of themselves making a goal call. People like to shout goal as long as they can. We had Steve Nash do a goal call that had, I don't remember how many tens of thousands of hits. His participation as a fan, as well as as a spokesperson, really connected with other fans, I think, and so we got a, a lot of participation on Facebook in terms of these uploads. You know, there are challenges around the use of people's video, obviously, as, as individuals upload things to YouTube uh, or even onto Facebook for marketing purposes, so there are release issues. A lot of issues around global use of content that might be uploaded locally or that might be locally pertinent. While global advertising is not a new concept, the introduction of the social media element of these global campaigns like visas is new. There's never been a way to bring so much content from so many places and so many different people and then use it in so many places. So we really look to outside counsel, for example, on a case-by-case -case basis to help us sort of go one step at a time as we all move forward into this space that none of us knows for sure. Elizabeth Murphy, take one. One of the primary goals of our social media plan is to connect uh, our brand and our team and our players directly with the fans and Facebook and Twitter and blogs provide us that opportunity to really bring the fan closer to the team and the players. So for fans who are at home, they can send in trivia requests, they can uh, ask questions about the lineup or about particular plays, so it's a great way to bring the fan who is not at the game, but bring the game experience home to them. We produced a lot of in-house content about, about our team, about our players, the personalities of our players, and tried to figure out the best platforms to disseminate and share that content. And we have done that through Facebook, and Twitter. From January 2010 to November 2010, we doubled the number of fans on Facebook from 300,000 to 600,000.